Alright guys, welcome to the second part of the video. Okay, now earlier in the previous video we learned how to create a local site uh, through Valley. Okay, how to run it onto our server. Uh, just to ensure that if you have MAMP or you know any other server running which is occupying uh, the port 80, then you need to shut down the other uh, servers. Okay, the applications that you're using the server port 80. Okay, cool. Now. We were in the my site folder. Let's get out of this folder and go back to, into our valley folder. Let's create um, another directory called WordPress for our WordPress installation. So now we're going to talk about how to install WordPress and how to use it. Okay. Right. Got that. Now. Alright, yeah, next thing we're gonna need to do is we need to type the command which is WP Core Download. Okay, so this basically is a CLI, uh, you know, uh, WP CLI which will allow us to download WordPress directly into this folder. Okay, which is WordPress. Else, if you don't have this uh, CLI installed, you can install it or you can just go to the WordPress website, download the WordPress, and put it into this uh, folder which is uh, the um wordpress directory okay all right guys so i'll show you once again how i download the wordpress so basically um i was in the valley folder and i created a directory called um wordpress okay we need to also remember we need to go to that directory before we do the wp core download okay and this is going to install the WordPress into the WordPress directory okay it's downloaded cool so as you can see you've got a WordPress downloaded here alright cool now guys uh, we also need to go ahead and uh, uh, park it and link it to Valley as we did for the local website. So all we have to do now is make sure we are in the WordPress directory. Okay, Valley Park. So it's going to add the path to Valley for this directory. And once that is done, all we have to do is do valley link. This is going to link the site address of this WordPress directory to valley so that we can access it onto a browser. So let's wait until it does that. It's done. And we can always check by typing valid links that we have got our WordPress directory included into the valid sites. As you can see, this is the part that's followed. All right, as you can see, we've got WordPress dev. Search that. Okay, as you can see, we've got a WordPress right here. Okay, and remember, we also need to check the MySQL so that we have our database ready. Alright guys, so we need to install MySQL as well. So we'll do brew install MySQL. Right, so it's downloading that, so I'll pause the video. Alright guys, so as you can see it is already installed. The MySQL is installed, so all we have to do now is start the services for MySQL. View services start MySQL. Okay, it's already started. Cool. 
Now all we have to do is just do my SQL U root and P and leave the password as blank. Um, all right, I'll just check that one moment. All right, guys, for some reason my SQL is not starting. So in the meanwhile, while I fix that, let's install MariaDB. So first we need to unlink the MySQL that we've already installed. So brew unlink MySQL. Okay. And now we're going to install the MariaDB for our database management. So brew install MariaDB. <coughs> All right, it's downloading that. I'll pause it. So as you can see, MariaDB is installed. It says to start the server. For the MariaDB, all you have to do is write MySQL server start. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Once the my uh, sorry, MariaDB server started. Uh, then all we have to do is uh, type MySQL dash u root dash p, and then we'll use password as root. All right, let me try that one more time. What's going on? All right, you don't have to use the password as root. You just I keep the password as blank okay so you type mysql dash u root dash p and then leave the password blank and just hit enter okay so as you can see we are in the mysql mariadb okay we can see what databases we have Okay, so these are the databases that we have. Uh, understand that we need to install the WordPress. So we need to have a uh, database for the WordPress as well. So make sure that you know you create a database using um, create database command, and we'll name it as WordPress semicolon. Cool. We've got the database created. If we do show database we can see our database is created. Okay, cool. Uh, just one second. All right, now go. let's go ahead and register ourselves for the WordPress. We'll, we have written the database name as WordPress, so we'll keep that the same. I'll uh, keep the username as root password. We can leave it blank. Okay, and then let's submit. All right, that's taken care of. Okay, and then let's say you know the name of our site title is WordPress. Username, I'm gonna fill with all of that. I'm pausing the video, and you can do it yourself. All right, guys. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, successfully registered for the WordPress. And all I have to do now is just log in. And there you go, we've got our WordPress site running. Brilliant. Great. We've got our WordPress site. We've got our admin. Everything. Cool. Right? So we know that how we can access our database onto the MySQL uh, MariaDB on terminal, but we also need to know how to access that externally. You know, like uh, on a kind of a app or something where we can see all the database. We can see it over here as well by you know sh using our terminal command show databases, show tables, and things like that. But I'll also show you another way wherein you can actually uh, see it on a different uh, app. Okay, and the name of that app is SQL Pro. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you 
how to install that and how to go ahead and connect to this. Okay, thank you. So see you in the next video.